Hey YouTube, I'm here with the spoils uh, deck opening. This is Seed, Children of the Lingamore Rogue deck. Pretty constructed. Um, smaller in length than the booster pack. It's just like an actual deck box full of cards instead of your normal Yu-Gi-Oh type where it's got an instruction manual and everything. So I'm just going to try and get into this, but it's pretty well sealed. Okay, so I'm not really sure about, like, I don't really know anything about the smiles. I just decided to get it to check it out. Okay, so, opening this deck up. Let's pull out everything we have inside. Okay, so that's everything we have. We have, first on the pile, instructions. That just looks like a quick leaflet of how to play. On one side it has introduction and just how to play and everything. The other side, glossary of terms. Um, so that's that. Okay, so the cars kind of strange. I don't really get it. Um, this card here, it's just John Catacombs Influence 20. No idea what that means. Um, let's just look at them. The back of the cards are very strange as well. Of the normal cards. Just look like a deck of playing cards. So, um, these are Hollow Deception times two. Both hollow. Um, gutter snipe to see these. Opportune slot puller, sly biker, agile highwayman, affectionate doll keeper. Slim Slam Man, times two for everything. Casino Kingpin, just one. Obtuse Pipe Smoker, hype Hypnotic Illusionist. Harbinger of Anguish. Slinking Bandido. Maxwell Coxwagger. Um, underhanded Gamer. Transient, transient Smuggler. Dauntless Gambler. Shadowy Mugger, Pit Boss, Swollen Ostrich, Rumpley Roos, Cunning Disguise, Rig, rig Tables, Essence of Deception, Hidden Dagger, Overindulge, Strangulate, Roulette, Wheel of Doom. So those are those kind of cards, and then we have more Deceptions, and these are like just shitloads of them. They're the exact same card as these two hollow ones. It's kind of weird. These are all the exact same card. So yeah, I guess that's all I can say really. I'll try and figure this out. I'll maybe make a how to play video. But um it looks quite it looks decent, I mean it's trying to be one of the most competitive card games. It's not hugely successful yet, just because the lack of knowledge people have about it and not many people know about it. So I'll try and get it around a little bit. So thanks for watching and see you later.